Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Field Trips. On the Brazos. On the Brazos. Yeah, we are in probably easily one of my favorite places to fish in the entire world, especially kayak fish. We are on the Brazos River below Possum Kingdom Lake, a killer stretch. If you follow the show, you've seen a few episodes from this spot. Killer fishing, striper, bass, crappie, big bass. We're out here with, you got, You know these people. We got Max Moore, the little bro, my beautiful girlfriend, Jennifer McGuire. We're out here, We I've done this stretch a lot. Max has done it a good handful of times. Jennifer's never been on this stretch of river. They got ADD. They're, they're enjoying it already. <laughs> no, no, there was a bass woman. He was literally we, cruising. We're seeing tons of fish. We just got on the river two minutes ago. Jennifer's in for a treat. She's already having fun. It's her birthday tomorrow. Wish this girl a happy birthday. This is part of her birthday trip. Yay. We're gonna go catch some big fish. So yeah, we're gonna get to it. There's some people that are doing a camping trip behind us. We're kind of trying to get down before they get down. We got a late start today. Max is out here skipping rocks. Man, that was a good one. I know, yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. I've seen good. better. Oh yeah, and I'm out here testing out Lightning Kayaks' newest model, the Lightning Kayak Kick 106. Me too. Max is in it as well. Sweet little boat. It is kind of our budget-friendly boat. Retails for thirteen hundred something dollars with the pedal drive. It's shorter. It's lighter. It's super stable. Killer platform for anyone trying to get into the pedal kayak arena. We'll see. I've been in it for about two minutes so far. I'm I'm loving it so far, but we'll see. We're gonna take it down the river, see how she does. But almost all the way across. You gotta get that, that was good. That was good. Ow. Let's see if you can catch fish. We know you can skip rocks. I already got that down. <laughs> I already got that down. Let's get after it. Everything's my fault. I get it. Yep. Welcome to women. Everything's your fault from now on. Man, the wakes, it looks like redfish. Those are buffalo. There's a bunch of them. Look at them all. Look at them all. There's like a hundred right here. Look at all these fish, you guys. Yeah, you could fly fish for these. They'll pick up a fly. Bunch of them. So once we get up here, we're going to take this hard left. And then it opens up into this deep pool. Well, for here, deep. And that's where there's tons of striper. And you can catch big largemouth too, but that's gonna be our best shot at getting striper. That and the next pull down, but this first pull was big. I just saw something big come up. Yeah, that's what I thought it was It is pretty, right? Like, look at this. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Like, that's worth making a cast or two out if you want. All right, so the name of the game on this stretch of river is basically moving baits, and anything like that can work. Paddle tails, square bills, chatter baits, spinner baits. I got on tackle direct before we came here, placed an order, picked up an Alabama rig or an umbrella rig. This is gonna work great for the striper in this water. You can also catch bass on it. Even though it's shallow, a lot of people don't think about something this crazy, this gaudy in clear, shallow water, but it works great here. There's the potential to catch a 10 pound largemouth bass in this river system right here. Uh, you just never know. But I'm gonna start off with this Alabama rig, see if we can't get some striper on the board. So just came down a little ways. We're in a little bit deeper water now. Um, it's pretty warm for this time of year. And so uh, these fish are gonna be in kind of the deeper holes down deeper where it's a little bit cooler. Whoa. And so this is kind of the first big, deep, big pool in the river. And sometimes this place is just absolutely loaded with striper. And they love this Alabama rig. Basically imitates schooling fish, schooling bait fish. Now it also costs $20 and I'm already hung up first cast. <laughs> so, gotta be a little careful. Now luckily this river's all shallow enough that for $20 I'd probably swim down and get it if I have to. But I didn't have to. If you wanna cast for, for striper, they'll be out in this main channel where it's deepest because it's warmer and they're looking for that cooler water. Striper are pretty sensitive to heat. In fact, like really bad summers, they'll all die off. There'll be big fish kills in this stretch of the river. And then the fishing's terrible until they start releasing in the dam again to refill it.
I got one. Something good. Large mouth, nice one. Nice large mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Babe, come look at this. <laughs> All right, guys. Doesn't cast into the day. Look at this fish. Look at this river bass. <laughs> this is why we're out here on the Alabama rig, on the umbrella rig, off this big boulder right here. I'm sure you can see that. In fact, I need to get away from it. So I bet there's more. There you go, guys. This is what we're out here for. Look how fat and healthy this fish is. Probably a good three and a half, four pounder. The tail is just being healed. She spawned a little while ago. Beautiful bass, first fish of the day, not long at all into the day. That's on the Alabama rig. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Here in the lightning kick, my first time out on the boat, that's pretty good first fish in the kick, I would say. Beauty, all right, we'll let her go now. Fat mama. <laughs> Take off. Oh, that was awesome. That's a good feeling. I'm telling Jennifer this place is awesome. That was feeling the pressure to live up to the hype. And there it was. Did not take long at all. All right, babe, let's get you some fish. All right. <laughs> there should be beds over here where you're talking about. Yep, got it. I can't tell what it is. It's a striper. Not a big one. There you go, Rob with the striper. Should I keep it? Okay guys, second victim to the Alabama rig. And it just hammered it off this giant boulder. I know this boulder well, I've caught quite a few fish. Now that's a small striper. So a lot of times you look at that big Alabama rig and you're like, man, you know, yeah, what's gonna hit that? Only a giant fish would hit that. That's not a big striper at all. That's actually a pretty small stri striper. There's one. And we're talking about keeping a few, maybe taking a few home for dinner, but he's pretty small. I'm gonna go ahead and throw him back. First striper. First smallie. <laughs> nuh -uh. That's a giant smallie. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna let him go. Max has got a small mouth in his hands, in his net. I'm coming, I'm coming. Look at that smolly. Yee -yee. Okay. So Texas smallmouth is a is a is a rare thing. Especially on an Alabama rig. Good night. Look at that. Look Great at fish, that man. Fish. On the Alabama rig. On the go. That is crazy looking his pattern. Yeah. It's like his scales go backwards. That's wild. On the kick. 106. Lightning kick. Oh. And he's gone. Nice work, bud. Thank you. Sweet catch. Right off this like flat rock. Yeah. Anytime you can find like a ledge, big boulder like this, a little bit deeper water on it, five, six feet, there's gonna be a fish on it. Yeah. Nice work, man. First fish of the day, first fish on this yak here. Yep. And uh lightning kick's getting some good mojo today, both of them. Heck yeah. There it is. There you go, there you go. Nice, Jennifer's on, got a striper next to the boat. There it is. A good, one too. I got good job, babe. Let me come look. You got a channel? Yeah. Robert Fields? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew. I looked at it, I was like, <laughs> yeah, what's going on, man? Yeah, nothing, man. Yeah, Out here filming an episode. Yeah, I've watched a handful of your videos for sure. <laughs> yeah, this is my girlfriend and my, my little brother. We're out here filming a little episode. I feel like no matter what, that's going to be a keeper size. That's your first. Striper from a kayak, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, Jennifer. Yeah. This striper. Yep, yeah, on a swim bait. Kayak takes swim bait. Great work. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Nice work, babe. Thank you. He came after. It was almost to the boat before he hit it, too. You know, that's something I learned here with Matt. Most of my striper hits come right at the boat. I think when the thing comes up to the surface, they're like, oh, I got him now. It. Yeah, I got him now. And they, yeah, I get a lot of hits right at the kayak. Are you going to keep it or what are we going to do, babe? All right, guys. So we're going to take a few striper home for dinner, just enough for one meal. Jennifer got the first keeper. Mine might have been. I didn't even measure it. <laughs> we're going to put him on the stringer. He's going to hurt me in the process. <laughs> Golly. Now we got dinner started and we're catching some bass. Not a bad start. 
All right, guys, got a bass on the slick bait, swim bait. Come on, dude, it's a good fish. Hey, I need... Max with another bass on, on the kick, getting drugged behind this boulder. I'm going behind this rock. I don't wanna, I don't wanna. No, no, get me, give. I need you to come back over here, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ho oh, barely hooked. Great bass, bro. That, that. Whew. I saw him eat too. I knew there was gonna be one up in that area. Sweet fish for Max Moore on the lightning kick. Great fish, bud. There we go. Thank you, bud. You put up a fight. You. Have a good one. <laughs> he did not want to give up. Yeah, he drug you behind the boulder. <laughs> yeah, and you hear my drag. <laughs> Great good night. <laughs> not sure if you can see it pretty far away, but got a bunch of cattle up here crossing the river. All this is private property on both sides. A bunch of ranches. Pretty cool they're crossing up there. Man, it is just so peaceful out here. I love this place. Got a little bit of a lull in the fishing here. Started off hot and heavy, but it doesn't even matter. Just listen to the birds, cattle crossing the river, turtles, a couple snakes. We're seeing tons of gar and carp. And we've seen a few bedding bass that just didn't want anything to do with it, but just being out here. No complaints. Mm. It's paradise in its own way. Not the traditional paradise, but my kind of paradise. All right, y'all, little midday update. And by midday, I mean end of the day, Fishing was hot and heavy when we got out here, which we didn't get out here until one o'clock, maybe a little later. Uh, has not been hot and heavy since. In fact, I forgot what a bite feels like. What's a bite feel like, babe? Oh, you don't know either. We don't know. Slow, it has been slow. I don't know what the deal is. It's kind of unseasonably warm, but now it's cooling off. That light's getting low, we're feeling good. So we're heading back up river. Down river was a bust. We're gonna head back to that same stretch where we were just hammering the fish because uh, we haven't caught a fish since then. We're gonna get up there, see what we can do here at the end of the day. I mean, with this, this striper's real lonely on the stringer. Really could use one or two more. I mean, we're gonna cook it up either way or maybe we'll freeze it and come back and try to catch some more. But right now, it's not gonna be, we're gonna have a striper appetizer, not dinner. So let's go see what we can do. See what we can pull off in the fourth quarter here. Beautiful day. Great weather, huh, babe? That's the important thing, you know? The fish are just a bonus. The true catch is just being out here with you, babe. Yes, yeah, it's awesome. It's so wonderful. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know what else I want to do. I'm going to be out here with you not catching fish. I'm going to, I'm going to peg you with this swim bait. <laughs> this might be the last time y'all see Southern Belle on my <laughs> show. We'll see. Alright guys, well as luck would have it, our luck didn't change this evening, nothing else. We still got this one pathetic lonely striper on the stringer, but he's almost dead. We're not gonna, we're not gonna waste it. We're gonna take it home and clean it up. And then I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're either about to go cook up this one striper, show you guys a cool way to cook it up, or more likely we're gonna be doing some more fish in the next couple days, so we may go try to add to this big old pile of fish we got going before we cook them up. So stay tuned, something's about to happen, but I don't know what yet because I can't see the future, but it's gonna be good. Don't go anywhere. But in the meantime, we gotta get back up river before it gets too dark because probably parts of the stretch we're gonna have to drag the kayaks. It gets pretty skinny through a few of these stretches and we are going against the current now. So yeah, little adventure getting back to the launch. 
And who knows? We're gonna be making some casts. It ain't over. Fat lady ain't singing yet. But she's definitely been warming up. We'll see. Max, where the fish at, bro? I don't know. <laughs> Me neither. Well, here's a dead catfish. We could add that. Put that on the stringer. Covered in moss. Still beats tilapia from the store, if you ask me. What do you need me to do, bud? You need to get your paddle out, put your phone away, like... Yeah. Priorities. Get your paddle out. What can I do? Here, here, here. Oh god, that's cold. Push it out, or that, that works too. Thank you. There you go, little buddy. Be free, but you gotta paddle, paddle, paddle. It, it's ripping or pedal, yeah, something. <sighs> Is it deep enough over there? Yeah. I may just drag. Man, what kind of spoiled? What is this? Okay, fish the river, they said. It'll be fun, they said. 